What is Hibernate? Hibernate is a free and open source framework. It is widely used lightweight ARM tools for Java applications. It is written in Java and is Java Virtual Machine, JVM, platform based. It is used to store, manipulate and retrieve data from the database. What is OM? OM stands for Object Relational Mapping. It is the programming technique to map application domain model objects to the relational database. Tables What are the important design patterns in Hibernate framework? Domain model pattern Data access object the DAO ABS tract factory Data mapper Proxy Object relational mapping OM Query object What are different data types supports in Hibernate? Hibernate data type plays an important role as it acts like a bridge between Java types and DB data. Types Primitive types Date and time types Binary and large object types Other JDK related types What are the core interfaces of Hibernate? Session interface It allows you to create query objects to retrieve persistent objects. Session factory interface it is a factory that delivers the session objects to Hibernate application. Configuration interface. It is used to configure and bootstrap Hibernate. Transaction interface. This interface abstracts the code from any kind of transaction implementation such as JDBC. Transaction. JTA transaction. Query and criteria interfaces. This interface allows the user to perform queries and also control the flow of the query execution. Which element is used in Hibernate Maps Java Util Sorted Map property? Map. What is the return type of save? Java.io Say Realizable. What is criteria object in Hibernate? It is used to create and execute object oriented queries to retrieve the objects. What is Java Persistence API? JPA. JPA stands for Java Persistence API. It provides specification for managing the relational data in applications. What is HQL? HQL stands for Hibernate Query Language. It's very similar to SQL except that we use objects instead of table names. That makes it closer to object-oriented programming. What is the benefit of native SQL query support in Hibernate? Both Hibernate and Java Persistence support queries written in native SQL. It query comes handy when we want to execute database-specific queries that are not supported by Hibernate API such as query. Hints or the connect keyword in Oracle database. What do you know about transaction file? Transactions denote a work file which can save changes made or revert back the changes. A transaction can be started by session, begin transaction, and it uses JDBC connection, COB or JTA. When the session starts several transactions may occur. What is the difference between addDAO and add directory methods? These methods are the most convenient to use in Hibernate. These methods allow you to load all your Hibernate documents at a time. These methods simplify code configuration, refactoring, layout, etc. These functions help you to add your Hibernate mapping to Hibernate initialization files. What are POJOs? POJO stands for plain old Java objects. These are just basic Java beans that have defined setter and getter methods for all the properties that are there in that bean. Besides they can also have some business logic related to that property. How does Hibernate code looks like? Session session equals get session factory. Open session. Transaction tx equals session begin transaction. My persistence class mpc equals new my persistence class. Sample app. Session save. mpc. tx commit. Session close. What is difference between Hibernate Save, Survey or Update, and Persist methods? Hibernate Save can be used to save entity to database. Problem with Save is that it can be invoked without a transaction and if we have mapping entities, then only the primary object gets saved causing data inconsistencies. 
Also save returns the generator did immediately. Hibernate persisted similar to save with transaction. I feel it's better than save because we can't use it outside the boundary of transaction. So all the object mappings are preserved. Also persist doesn't return the generator did immediately. So data persistence happens when needed. Hibernate survey or update results into insert or update queries based on the provided data. If the data is present in the database, update query is executed. We can use survey or update without transaction also. But again you will face the issues with mapped objects not getting saved if session is not flushed. What are the different methods of identifying an object? The object identity, object the quality, database identity. What are the ORM levels in Hibernate? There are four ORM levels in Hibernate. Pure relational, light object mapping, medium object mapping, full object mapping. What are the databases that Hibernate supports? Some database engines supported by Hibernate. Oracle, MySQL, PostgreSQL, SAPDB, Sybasis, H2 Database, Microsoft SQL Server Database, HSQL Database Engine, DB2NT, Informix Dynamic Server, Front Base. What is the transient in Hibernate? A transient is one of the object states in Hibernate which is object relation mapping. It will map or create every variable with the class we have defined. How would you define automatic dirty checking? Automatic dirty checking can be defined as a feature that helps us in saving the effort of explicitly asking Hibernate to update the database every time we modify or make changes to the state of an object inside a transaction. What a callback interface is in Hibernate? Callback interfaces of Hibernate are useful in receiving event notifications from objects. For example, when an object is loaded or deleted, an event is generated and notification is sent using callback interfaces. What is a pure relational ORM? The entire application, including the user interface, is designed around the relational model and SQL-based relational operations. What are the extension interfaces that are there in Hibernate? There are many extension interfaces provided by Hibernate. Proxy Factory Interface For Create Proxies Transaction Factory Interface For Transaction Management Connection Provider Interface For JDBC Connection Management Transaction Interface For Transaction Management Transaction Management Lookup Interface For Transaction Management CHCE interface. It provides caching techniques and strategies. Cache provider interface. Same as cache interface. Class persist interface. It provides ORM strategies. Identifier generator interface. For primary key generation. Dialect abstract class. It provides SQL support. How can we bind Hibernate Session Factory to JNDI? Hibernate Session Factory can be bound to JNDI by making configuration changes in Hibernate.cfg file. What are the types of Hibernate instance states? Three types of instance states. Transient the instance is not associated with any persistence context. Persistent the instance is associated with a persistence context. Detached the instance was associated with the persistence context which has been closed a circumflex euro. Currently not associated. What is the main difference between Spring and Hibernate? Spring and Hibernate are two different things. Spring has several components like dependency injection, Spring MVC, Spring OM, Spring REST API. So Spring OM and Hibernate are kind of similar. They both deal with the object relation model, which means they deal with connection Java objects to database entities. Now if you want to build a REST API using Spring, you can use the Spring REST API. Here is the getting start guide for Spring REST for building a RESTful web service. Form you can either choose Hibernate or Spring ORM framework in either cases there are advantages and disadvantages but major industry goes with using Hibernate.
I might be wrong. I've used both of them. Spring OM is quite useful in simple scenarios in Hibernate in some complex scenarios. Whereas in most complex scenarios both of them are not quite useful when you want to write really complex queries. Both of them provide functionalities to write queries by yourself in the case of complex scenarios. What are the important benefits of using Hibernate Framework? Some of the important benefits of using Hibernate Framework are Hibernate eliminates all the boilerplate code that comes with JDBC and takes care of managing resources. So we can focus on business logic. Hibernate Framework provides support for XML as well as JPA annotations. That makes our code implementation independent. Hibernate provides a powerful query language, HQL, that is similar to SQL. However, HQL is fully object-oriented and understands concepts like inheritance, polymorphism and association. Hibernate is an open-source project from Red Hat community and used worldwide. This makes it a better choice than others because learning curve is small and there are tons of Online documentations and help is easily available in forums. Hibernate is easy to integrate with other Java e frameworks. It's so popular that Spring Framework provides built-in support for integrating Hibernate with Spring applications. Hibernate supports lazy initialization using proxy objects and perform actual database queries only when it's required. Hibernate Cache helps us in getting better performance. For database vendor specific feature, Hibernate is suitable because we can also execute native SQL queries. What are the advantages of Hibernate over JDBC? Some of the important advantages of Hibernate framework over JDBC are Hibernate removes a lot of boilerplate code that comes with JDBC AP. The code looks more cleaner and readable. Hibernate supports inheritance associations and collections. These features are not present with JDBC AP. Hibernate implicitly provides transaction management. In fact most of the queries can't be executed outside transaction. In JDBC AP, we need to write code for transaction management using commit and rollback. Read more at JDBC Transaction Management. Like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.